Thanks for watching Lessons in Minutes with J. Lee. Like, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Hey guys, today we're going to continue to look at service department cost allocation. At the end of this lesson, you should be able to demonstrate how to allocate overhead costs using the step down method. Now, remember you were introduced to four methods. You were told that there are four methods. We have looked at the direct allocation method. If you have missed that lesson, the link will be in the description below. Today, as I said earlier, we're gonna focus on using the step down method. Now, what is the step down allocation method? This method allows for partial recognition of services rendered by support departments to other services department. So basically you'll find that a service department will be receiving a cost from another service department. It requires support departments to be ranked with the highest percentage of its total services to other departments in the order of allocation. So basically what you're gonna do is that you're gonna compare the service departments with each other to find out which one is providing the highest percentage of service to another department. So you will start allocating with that department first, then down to the other department with the other higher value, down to the one that is providing the least. All right. So that is why I said that it's a step down. So say, for example, you have three departments and one is providing 20% of service to another, one is providing 25% to another, one is providing 30% to another. The highest percentage there is the one with the 30. So therefore you will start your allocation with the one that is providing 30% of service to other to the other particular department. All right. And then you would pick up the 25%, then you'll pick up the one with the 20%. Okay. No. With this method, you'll find that the last stage of it, you'll be using principles coming from the direct allocation method. Now, let us look at a question. So here we have our question right here. JB Company has two service departments and two production departments. The following information is provided in the table below. So we have the human resource, we have maintenance, and those are the two service departments, while our production departments are assembly and finishing. Now, in terms of services that are being provided, you'll see that the for the human resource department and the maintenance department, you're going to compare both of those service departments to see which one you're going to start your allocation with, right? And these are the values. So what we're seeing is that the human resource department is providing, the human resource department is providing all of 20% to the maintenance department. While for the maintenance, we're seeing that it's providing 10% of service to the human resource department. Now, in terms of which one you're going to start your allocation with, we would have to go with the human resource. Why? The human resource department is providing the higher percentage when comparing to the maintenance. So we're seeing that human resources is allocating, is basically providing 20% of service to the maintenance while maintenance is just providing 10% to human resource. So therefore, our allocation is gonna start with the human resource department. We're gonna move over in preparing the response for that question. Now, the first thing that you'll have to do, remember, is to compare the service department to see which one is providing the highest percentage of service to the other service department. And earlier we have determined that the human resource department would be the one that you would start your step down with because the allocation with, because it is providing all of 20% service to the maintenance department when compared to what the maintenance department is providing to the human resource, which is just 10%. 
So we're going to show the allocation of the human resource department. So let's make a note of that, that we're going to allocate allocation of human resource. And what we are distributing is the $50,000. So you're showing that your human resource decreasing by that 50,000. So back to the question, maintenance is to get 20% of that 50,000, assembly 50% of that 50,000 and finishing 30% of that 50,000. Now the workings were pre-prepared so maintenance is to get 10,000, making a note of that. Assembly is to get 25,000, while the finishing is gonna get 15,000. So finishing 15,000, all right? Your next step is to recalculate. So we have recalculate cost. Now, for human resource, it's 50,000 minus 50,000, so that's zero. Maintenance is now 120 plus 10,000, so that gives us 130,000. The assembly is 325,000, and the finishing is $265,000. So that's what we have now. So we, based on the recalculated costs, we're seeing that the maintenance department has $130,000. We're now going to distribute this $130,000 to directly to the production departments. So nothing is going to go to the other service department, which is human resource, because what we're doing, we're stepping down. So once you clear that service department, no other cost is going back to it. If you start doing that, you're going to find that you will be employing the repeated distribution method that will be completed in another session. So you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. So the next cost, which is maintenance, we're going to allocate that to directly to the production departments. So making a note of that allocation of maintenance. And in this stage, people, you would notice that we're going to employ that direct allocation method. We are distributing, allocating all of $130,000. So we're making a note of that, that maintenance reduced by $130,000. Now, this $130,000 that you're allocating to your production department, remember, you're using the direct allocation method in doing this. So therefore, you have to reassemble the allocation. So because we're just allocating, let me highlight that for you. Because we're just allocating to the assembly and the finishing department using direct allocation, you'll find that you are going to reassemble the portions. So instead of out of 100, you're gonna find that it is 60 out of 90. Why 90? 64 assembly. 34 finishing. So when you add those two together, that, that give you the denominator. So it is 60 out of 90. And for the finishing, that would be 30%, not 30%, but 30 out of 90. When I say person, that would be out of 100. That is not, that's why I clear up that. So it is 30 out of 90. So here we go with our calculation. Again, that was already done. So let us just take a look at that. So for the assembly, it is 60 out of 90 multiplied by that 130,000 that you are allocating and that give you $86,667 that was rounded off. And for the finishing, it is 30 out of a total of 90 Multiply by that 130,000, which give us $43,333. And the final thing that is left for you to do is to recalculate your cost. To recalculate costs, right? For the maintenance, 
it is 130 minus that 130, that is zero. For the assembly, we had from the previous step where we had recalculated, assembly was 325,000. Now you're adding 86,067 to that. And that gives you a total of $411,667. And for the finishing, previously when we had recalculated the cost, it was 265,000. Now we're adding 43,333 to that, and that gives us a total of 308,333. All right. And that basically takes us to the end of this for the step down. So remember, the first thing that you need to do is to compare the service departments to see which one is providing the highest service, percentage of service to the other service departments. And you will start allocating with that. If you have more than two, you'll find that you'd have to look for the next IS score allocation, basically in terms of percentage, what they are allocating, what they're providing to the other department. And then that would come next down to the one with the least. All right. And the final step, the final step, once you have allocated, have one service department left to be allocated, you're going to use a direct allocation method where you just allocate to the production departments only. All right. So that takes us to the end of this session where we use the step down allocation method. Like, share, and don't forget to subscribe.